When you are changing the name of your business and rebranding it, you may need to change your domain name and email addresses. But at the same time, you want to keep a regular flow of your email without any disruption. If your email service is part of your Microsoft 365 subscription, then I have good news for you. Microsoft 365 has the mechanisms to switch to a new domain name seamlessly. My name is Carlos and today I will show you how to change your domain name and email addresses in your Microsoft 365 without affecting the regular flow of your emails. Regardless of the reasons why you are changing your business domain name, Microsoft 365 allows you to do these type of changes without affecting the flow of your emails and without interrupting your email service. From one moment to another, you can start using a new domain name and continue receiving emails with your old domain name as well. The only associated cost with this change is the cost of your new domain name. Here are the steps that you need to follow. First, you need to purchase a new domain name. You need to verify the new domain name within your Microsoft 365 Admin Center and update or create the MX record. You need to create and add aliases with a new domain name for your users. And then you need to make the new alias your primary email address. These steps is optional. This could be for only some users or for all your users. By the way, some of these are part of the steps that you need to follow when planning and deploying Microsoft 365 for the first time. I am leaving here in the description a link to download a PDF with my nine steps guide to plan a Microsoft 365 implementation. Now, let's jump to our computer and I will show you how to change your domain name. First, we need to access the Microsoft 365 admin panel. Within our Microsoft account, we will find the admin icon on the left, which will give us access to the Microsoft 365 admin center. Before starting, let's review the status of our account. If we click on users, we will see that our current primary domain name is itb.cloud and we will add a new domain name which is going to be itbe.xyz. The DNS for both domain names are managed by Cloudflare. By the way, if you want to learn about Cloudflare and how to manage your domain's DNSs, I will leave here a video that explains how to use it. Within the admin center, we are going to click on show all and then we click on settings. Within settings, we will find domains. As we just said, our primary domain is itb.cloud. We also find this secondary domain name, which is itbcloud.onmicrosoft.com. As you may know, this is a secondary domain that Microsoft create when you set up your Microsoft 365 subscription the first time. So now we have to add the new domain name. So we click on add domain and it is going to be itb.xyz. So we need to click on use this domain. The next step is going to be the verification. We have the option to click on verify and it will give you direct access to Cloudflare. However, in this example, I'm going to use a different option which will allow me to show you the steps that you need to follow regardless of the DNS provider that you use. So we need to click on more options and we select add txt record for the domain's DNS records. And then we click on continue. We will see here the main instruction, which is add the record to verify the ownership. The record is right here, the txt record. If we just click here, it will be copied in our clipboard. As the txt record, we just entered the add sign, or we can also enter the domain name. As the TTL, we will use 3600 seconds. So now we will switch to our Cloudflare admin panel. We have it open here in a different tab. And we are now seeing the different records for this domain name, for itb.xyz. So we scroll down a little bit to see all the records and then we click on add record. On the left, we will select the type of record. It is a TXT record. We scroll down and we see it here, TXT. We can type the add sign or the domain name. On content, we just paste the value that we copied from the admin center. As the TTL, we can leave it in auto 
or we can select the suggested TTL is 3600 seconds. So we select it here and then we are ready to save the record. We click on save. Our TXT record has been added. We can see it here, highlighted, and this record will start propagating over the internet. We probably will be able to verify the domain name in a few minutes. We can go back to the admin panel and then here we can click on verify. The domain name is now verified. So we can continue adding the additional records that are necessary for this domain name. And we will select this option, add your own records. If we select the first one, Microsoft will connect directly to Cloudflare, but we want to do it ourselves. So we select here and click on continue. If we scroll down, we will find the three records that we need to add. The MX record, a C name, and a additional TXT record. Let's start with adding the MX record. We copy it here, then we go to the Cloudflare panel. Since our domain name doesn't have any MX record, we will add it. So we click here on add record. If we have a MX record, we can edit it and change it. As the type, we select MX. We find it here. As name, we will add the add sign. As the mail server, we will paste the value that we copy. As the TTL, we can leave it in auto or we can just use the 3600 seconds. As the priority, is it's zero. Then we click on save. Now the MX record has been added. There are two additional records that we need to add. We go back to the admin center. It is a C name. We copy the value autodiscover.outlook.com. We'll go back to Cloudflare. Add the C name. As the value here is auto discovered, but I'm going to copy it from here and I paste it. I unselect this proxy and I click on save. And now the last value is a TXT record. I have it here, TXT. I copy the value and the TXT name is going to be the domain name or the add sign. We click add record. It's a TXT. And here name, we enter the add sign. As a TTL, we use again 3600 and click on save. Now all the necessary records has been added. We go back to the admin center and we are ready to click on continue. Now our additional domain setup is complete. We can click on done. So at this point, we have completed the setup of our additional domain name. So the next step will be creating the aliases for the users. We click on users, active users. On the right, we will see the different users and we're going to add an alias for every user. Let's, for example, select this one. On the right, we will see aliases. We click on manage username and email. We enter the username and we select the correct domain name, which is itbe.xyz. And we click on add. If we scroll down, we will find the alias here. Carlos at itbe.xyz. So this is the process that we will have to do for every user. We can go back, close here. If I am ready to change the primary email address, I can click on the user again, then on manage username and email. Then I will find the alias here, carlos at itb.xyz. I will click on the three dots on the right side and I can click on change to primary email. After completed this step, the username will have to use the new email address to log in into his Microsoft 365 account. There is another option to change the email. We can close here and let's say that we want to change the email address for this user. We select it and then we can click on manage username. And then here I can click on domains and I will be able to select the new domain name itb.xyz and then we can click on save changes. Now the username has been updated and the new username is jose at itb.xyz. After renaming all usernames, the users will be able to receive emails in any of both email addresses. 
with the old domain names and with the new domain name. If for any reason you are not interested in keeping the old domain name, you can remove it. Before remove it, you have to remove all the aliases with the old domain name. If we want to remove the old domain name, we click on domains. We select the domain that we want to delete and we can click here, remove domain. This is one step that I don't want to do at this moment, but this is the way how you do it. And this is the process to rebrand your business in Microsoft 365. We covered how to add a new domain name and make the switch to the new domain while keeping the email flow with both domain names. Knowing these steps can make your life much easier as the Microsoft 365 administrator for your organization. If you found this video helpful, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe for more tech tips. I am Carlos and I hope to see you next time. Stay secure, stay tech savvy.